Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel. I uh, got something a little fun today, uh, a mod that I recently did. So this is one of my, um, you know, cheaper Casios and it was my guinea pig for my um, experiment here. So one of the things with Casios is, you know, reading at night. So unlike, you know, analog watches that have loom dials these are limited to this quick little light so i decided to try something let me show you so if we take this and i can't make it fully bright in here unfortunately but let me just show you what i mean well first let's just see if this light does it So here is kind of what I did. You can kind of see. We've got a loomed dial or display. So this glows perfectly at night now. Now this is charged up with a light, so it's pretty bright. But even at like a even at nighttime where it it's been kind of discharged it still has a real subtle glow which is just enough to show you what time it is it's not like a torch but you can still make out what time it is especially if your eyes have adjusted to the darkness and then when you hit it with the this light that kind of gives it a quick little recharge as well so you can better read the night at the time at night and I'll put some pictures kind of what it looks like in pitch black but real simple mod to kind of give your uh, just give yourself some more I don't know, just give the watch a little bit more of a legibility so I did it with this watch first because I kind of wanted to test it out but I think what I'm gonna do next is gonna be my pro trek I might do the same thing to that one and and actually maybe even my arrangement I don't know maybe all of them maybe I'll do it too maybe I'll do it to the square next this will be interesting because this has an EL backlight um, so it'll be kind of interesting to see how that will work but but I will cut into how I did this to show you guys if you're interested so let's jump into it so we're going to walk through kind of the disassembly and modification of applying the loom to the background. Now, this is my first time doing this, so I'm actually going to practice on one of my cheaper uh, Casios before I open up one of my squares or maybe the arrangement of the ProTrack. And what I'm going to be using here is I got some uh, glow powder. And you have to mix this with something and you can mix this with a variety of things acrylic paint nail polish uh, glues uh, what I'm gonna actually use is some UV glue um, I chose this because it doesn't dry until you hit it with a UV light and it's also super clear you know this is the stuff you use for like cell phone repair or you know display um, glue and displays and things like that so it dries super clear and I'm gonna mix uh, these two together to create like my paste and then apply it and then I hit it with a UV light to cure it. So that's kind of my plan. And that's it. So um, first thing I'm going to do is disassemble this. So I'm going to probably put this into fast motion because there really isn't much to really discuss at this point. If you've seen one Casio Pterodon, you've seen them all. This is the part that you want to put the put the gum. This is the part I want to paint. Gosh, I can't talk right now. 
So we're gonna mix up some of the powders and apply it to here. Okay, so what I just did now is I took a little of the powder, scooped it up and just put it on the, on the back plate there. And now we're gonna put some glue. Could get messy. And it really do is just spread it across a little bit more loom powder on it because some of it came off. I really should make this bag smaller so you can get it out easier. It's kind of a pain. Coming kind of a thicker paste, which is what I was going for. And now I'm just going to try to kind of spread it out as much as possible. And then we're going to hit it with the UV flashlight. It's, it's kind of self leveling too. So oh, it kind of helps. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see. You can kind of see it already glowing. So, I think we've got it as good as we can. Oh, 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 oh. So here, we got a UV flashlight and we're gonna use this to cure it. some of this kind of soak into the paste for a few minutes and then we're gonna hit it with some UV light okay you know I gave this about maybe like four minutes to kind of settle it's not really changing much it's a little clumped up there in the middle but that's okay now we're gonna take the light and dry it Right, 
This should only really take like 20 seconds or so. I think this should pretty much do it. Look at that. Okay, I think it will do. Let's give it one, one more quick. So, here is kind of what the end product looks like. 